the ranch. We're in Lake Tahoe, uh, up on a mountain. And, oh, did you eat snow? You're gonna get sick for sure. Uh, my name's Matt, this is Addy. For those who are new to the vlog, welcome. Uh, we usually don't do uh, these type vlogs, but we just decided we were gonna do a little vacation vlog for the next few days. And yesterday, let me apologize. When I was filming, the stuff seemed cool, but then when I looked at the footage, I was like, wow, this looks like the most boring skiing vlog ever. It's, I'm slow, I'm not good at skiing. This is, yesterday was the first time I skied in forever, 15 years, 17 years, I don't know, a long time. And it was just boring. I just looked like I didn't know how to ski because I don't really know how to ski. So now, today, uh, Meredith is doing a spa day, my wife, Mare. She's spa daying today after a long day of skiing. And Annie and Lincoln, my other two kids, they are in ski school with an instructor, so I don't have to deal with them. So it's just me and Addie today. The guys are skiing too, but they're faster than us, so they went ahead. So Addie and I are just uh, rehydrating with some snow. Can I have some? Mm -mm. <laughs> and then we're gonna go and just shred the gnarliest pow pow you've ever seen. I've just been picking up some lingo here now that we've been here a few days. You know what shred the pow pow means? Mm -mm. It means ski on the fresh powder. You know what powder is? Yeah. It's actually been really good. They've had tons of snow up at Lake Tahoe. Beautiful mountains covered in snow all around us. Super pretty here. Mary and I came here last summer and we saw it during the summer and we wanted to see what Lake Tahoe looked like in the winter and it's awesome. Meredith is legit ready to sell everything in Texas and move to Lake Tahoe. I'm not. I'm not sold. I don't think she'd like the snow for long. What do you guys think? People who live in places where there's snow all the time, does it lose its magic? Feel like it would have to like for sure there's no way you could actually love it every day like the snow shoveling and all that stuff but right now it's super magical and fun we get to come out here and eat snow off the ground and it's been great and we can go shred the gnar the fresh gnar i i don't know the lingo ad are you ready you just want to sit here and eat snow the rest of the day mm -hmm. actually sounds Pretty good to me too. We'll come back later after we're done eating snow. It's gonna be a while apparently. All right, I know you guys are all thinking it. Matt, how did you get so good at skiing? Well, just pure will and determination. Practice, practice, practice. You know, I strive to be better every day. So I'm out here making my, making my pizza wedge, trying to keep up with this little speed demon, making her pizza wedge. We're just pretty awesome. We're pretty awesome skiers. That's all there is to it, really. Watch, I can turn. Check that out. Okay, turned a little too sharp there. Now I'm gonna have to turn the other way. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. So you wanna lean, and then you wanna not go off the cliff. I like that. Skills. Thinking about applying for the Olympic team pretty soon. So, you know, you guys wanna check me out in the Olympics. I'll be there whenever the next one is, Winter Olympics. That's the stuff right there. Lake Tahoe. That's what's so cool about skiing here. You see the lake? So pretty, 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 pretty. The lake is 22 miles long and 12 miles wide. I learned that today. There's Annie right there in the pink jacket. Annie got split up from Lincoln because she's doing better. So they're gonna take her to the lift. Annie, Annie! She looks so tiny, she's so little. So they're gonna go put her on a lift so she can do some big kid stuff. Today is her last day of ski school and Lincoln's last day of ski school, so tomorrow they'll be skiing with us. Hey, we're at the top of the mountain, it's super windy! But look at that view. There's Lake Tahoe. It's crazy, crazy. Mountains all around. We're at the very top of the world. And it's, it's really windy, sorry about that. And Addy came up here. Addy's gonna shred the gnar all the way down. We're going GoPro!
got back to the house. Uh, Annie, I love your look. We're doing a game where I try to guess what face she's making. Okay, make a face and I'll try to guess what face. I think you're making this face. No? no? Alright, show me which face you're making. Dang, I would have never guessed that. Alright, do a different one. Do a crazier face this time, okay? And I'm gonna try to guess. Are you doing it? Wow, I don't know. I think your face is this. Daddy, no? We can bring these That's it? <laughs> um, okay, do one last crazy, crazy face. Is it, that's it? Alright, you're doing this. Did I get it? Yeah! There's some machine that comes with a big chopper and then it shoots, you can see the muddy snow up on the sides, it shoots it up there a little further back. It was like five feet high. And what we're wondering is, what if you leave like your trash can under all that snow or your bike under all that snow? Will that machine totally eat the bike or whatever you leave under it? Or like how do they not hit like uh, street signs like little or mailboxes? Where's a mailbox, right? Yeah. Are there mailboxes under these? I don't know. Sure, no, there can't be. Like, and that, like that guy has those poles so that something is oh, that's protected. Smart. So maybe that's what it is. They put poles up so the guy knows to not chop that far. So maybe if you have a mailbox, you put like six, seven foot tall poles around it. Look at that. That is so crazy. I've never been anywhere with this much snow. So people who do have this much snow on the regular, look at that guy's pole, see? That's probably what it is. There's a mailbox right there, I bet. Or a bike. People who do have this much snow, how do they know where to stop? Yeah, that's top sign. <laughs> This is so awesome. We all got skis the other day, but Annie and Lincoln were doing ski school, so they didn't have skis. But tomorrow they're not doing they're not doing ski school, so Annie got skis today. Can you ski though? Um, yes. Can you go up a lift? Um, yes. By myself. What? I love those skis. They're huge, and these are your nice boots. I want to see Annie going up a lift, going down the ski slopes. Whoa! Whoa! That's a weapon! Ah, 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 ah. Lincoln is getting sized for his right now over there with Mayor and the Pink. Annie and Lincoln. Um, excuse me? <laughs> what? The room, the room wasn't like this earlier? Get your booties in here. Busted! Busted Annie! Who did this? Who did this? Howdy, those are still yours. Lincoln. Fold them up. Them up. <laughs> Look at Lincoln. <laughs> Good job. He's getting that thing cleaned up. All clean. Dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> no, those are wet, dude. <laughs> it's a sweat swimsuit. Are you skiing with us tomorrow? Um, how was your massage today? It was good. Good. Are you skiing with me tomorrow? Yes! We are skiing with all three kids tomorrow, ideally, which would be the first time we've ever done this. You know a fun fact about Annie? What? So, they wanted to move her up to the next level at lunchtime Ski today. school, yeah. In ski school, but the next level was full, so they couldn't. And so her instructor was like, she was just getting bored. So I taught her to ski backwards. I would look, I'd like to see that. <laughs> what? Tomorrow we shall see. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up. <laughs> Don't tell Mare. <laughs>